Hey yo people, welcome back to Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'm White Blade Zero, and if you don't know me, I don't blame you. The last time we took care of Leafy Lake scenario number three, and in this episode we're tackling scenario number four, Diamond Heights. Now this time the objective is to reach a park value of at least 20,000 I believe. 20,000? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. 20,000, 20 million. By the end of October year three, and that's what we're gonna do. So, what does that mean, you ask? Well, I don't know specifically, but from my understanding, though I could be wrong, I will admit that, that I think it means you basically have to build, build, build. So, basically, just hopefully, if, as your money, as you manage your money, make sure you're building like crazy. Okay, maybe not like crazy, you gotta make sure you have enough money for it, but I. Like I said, I could be very wrong about this, it could be something else I'm not aware of, so if the park value does equal something else, then please feel free to let me know in the comments below, so at least that way I can get my facts straight next time I have to do a scenario like this. Which, believe me, it will happen someday. So as you can see, there are already a lot of pre-built rides around here. We got a log flume, a couple, a couple steel coasters, a mini coaster, a little slide, a merry-go-round, and there's even a a wooden crazy rodent coaster as well. Um, you don't see it very often in this scenario, to be honest. It's like, like for a few clips you saw back there, it's like way at the very top of the screen. Yeah, it's like in a very secluded area that's not really part of the main area of the park. So it's, uh, yeah. So right there, I built that car ride to kind of go with the, um, with the steel coasters, although not specifically as much. It's just something to kind of wind around with it. I named it Nothing to Fear because those two, those two codes are like, uh, what, Claustrophobia and Agrophobia, I believe. Um, their names will be in the description, so I'll probably be wrong on one of them. <laughs> no surprise. So over here I started to build another, another alternate path in the back, so that way there will be some easier wind-arounds from one end of the park to the other. Also to make it a little bit easier for my mechanics, handyman, etc. to, you know, reach certain rides if they need to. In here, this used up a lot of money, but I chose to make a flat area to build more rides. Now that area specifically was going to be for go-karts once I unlocked them. And believe me, I wanted to unlock go-karts almost immediately, but... Well, you'll see in a moment. Yes, there we have a little Ferris wheel, as usual. Can't, ha can't have an amusement park without a Ferris wheel. It's kind of a given. And there we built the, the in-game coaster known as the Shuttle Loop. It's kind of like my Super Looper Blaster I told you about, but it's basically the simpler version. Basically the demo, if you will. Now over. Now pretty soon, coming up, um, I start to build a ride that I am honestly very inexperienced with, right here. I am building a water slide here. Now you would think, oh joy, that's a lot of fun. Well, maybe to ride on them, but to build them, <laughs> oh boy. I spent a huge portion of them of this scenario trying to build this dang thing. It was not easy. Well, okay, maybe I make it seem easy, but in the test runs, yeah, there were a lot of hiccups, a lot of slowdowns here and there, and, you know, just not very general high excitement ratings and such. Now, this one I had to use that pull chain a little bit more often than I would liked. I didn't really like how it ended up, so I decided to redo it. Now, this reiteration, this try, I was pretty confident in this one. I was pretty sure that this one was going to work. Because I, I had a deeper drop at the start. I figured that was going to do the trick. Yeah, kind of going right next to each other and all that sort of thing. I think that's a nice little twist. Yeah, yeah just ignore that last little bit there. That, that goes away after this test run. It, it really proved worthless. And any old rate. I, at this point, I was pretty pleased with how this one came out after the test run. Well after fixing this last area, that is. So at that point, I was convinced that it was going to work, and I decided to, after this test was done and came out successful, to open to open the water slide. Um, in the end, I named it Cusco, after the character from Emperor's New Groove, and kind of made it all yellow goldish sort of thing. But... Tragedy struck. Yeah, as you saw there really quick, there was a crash. I don't know what happened, 
but apparently the weight of the, the weight of the guests on the boats apparently caused them to crash through the slide. I don't know what causes this. I wish I knew what it was, so I'll know for the future. But I decided, eh, screw it. I'll just build a, a steel mini coaster instead with some different cars. Yeah, some of the some of the rides have like different vehicles that you can use in the rides to kind of mix and match them a little bit. Um, the cars I used for the steel coaster that I just built were the were spinning cars. Um, you can't do any like um, slanted tracks; they have to be flat at all times. But at least with every turn, the the vehicles spin around. So that's why I na named it Welcome to Tasmania. Because, you know, Tasmanian Devil spinning around. Lemony Fresh! <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much the gist of it. Now at this point, I decided to kind of manipulate the, um, res the research portion of the game so that I would only get thrill rides. That would increase my chances of getting the go-karts. So. At this point, I wasn't doing too, too much. I think I had just unlocked the hedge maze at this point, which is why I was flattening that area to build the maze. Yep, there it is. I decided to use a pre-built one instead of building something brand new. Just chose the spiral maze. So yeah, it's not an original design by all means. It's just, yeah, it was just there cuz. So I had to rearrange the terrain a little bit to try and make it a little bit nicer looking. And over here, I decided to build a second boat higher cuz, well, there are multiple vehicles, so can't have just one. Sometimes if there are multiple vehicle, to, vehicle um, choices, you can just have to mix and match them. And since there were water tricycles, I decided to call them god trikes. Just cause. And here we are, the go-kart is here. I decided to build this one and make it look really nice, kind of like on a dirt road of such. That's why I called it Dirt, um, dirt Road Grand Prix, I believe. Um, I'm sure I could have seen it in Pinnacle if it was if the if my preview image was a bit more clear, but unfortunately it is not. So yeah, that's kind of how it is. It kind of sucks on my end. At this point, I'm just I'm not sure what I was doing at this point. I mean, yeah, just putting up more like um, more trash cans, a little more decoration, the benches, and all that sort of good thing. All oh, the yeah, now, I wasn't quite sure what I built next. I, I tried to add a little scenery to cut, to try and, uh, whoops, that was my phone with an email notification. Probably should have put this on silent as soon as I had the chance. <laughs> That's my mistake. Anyway, at this point, I was just going to get a little snack because I was getting a little tired at this point. Um, this initial recording of just the part, just the video itself, it was four hours. Yeah, the, this single recording was four hours long. I had no retakes either. This is all the first go. So I got pretty lucky there. But other than that, well, not much else happening. Just waiting for me to get back with my snack because I was feeling a little hungry and needed to, you know, stretch me muscles. And at this point, I decided to build the wooden roller coaster, try and try and redeem myself after the last one, after that disaster. And luckily, this one actually worked pretty dang well. In the end, I I think I built a pretty good one. It was pretty short, pretty simple, not too many steep hills this time, and well, the vehicles didn't come back to the come back to the station too fast, and that was a plus. And as you can probably guess, I decided to call it Mania Plus. You can probably guess why due to the color scheme of the well, like the track and the cars. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious what I was referencing there. Only I could find that damn fourth Chaos Emerald. <laughs> oh well. So at this point, I decided to do a little marketing to try and get try and get more guests in the park and to also um, kind of get more attention to some of the pre-built rides. Because at this point, even though steel those steel coasters weren't getting any people riding on them, it was a little bit concerning to say the least. Because you know. If a ride has no attention, it costs money to just have it run, and that's kind of pointless. And I did not want to even try to attempt to rebuild those rides. There was no way I would be able to pull that off. So, yeah. And at this point, I decided to build a, a second go-kart ride, as you see. Kind of make it Roman-esque, in a way. I don't know what I was going for when I was trying to word that. Uh, yeah, I decided to make it three laps instead of two, like the like the other one, 
And I think it came out pretty nice. The decorations looked interesting, to say the least. Let me see. What did I do next? What did I do after this? I think near the near the end of the scenario, I was just waiting for things to happen, because there, there wasn't too, too much for me to build at that point. Yeah, here I'm just kind of waiting for things to happen, just looking around, see if I can do some rearranging, uh, add a few more food and drink stalls, and, that's, and all that good jazz. Can't go wrong with can't go wrong with a pizza stall. And I was flattening that area because I think I was cause I, I initially thought of building a third go kart track because I did that there in the past in previous runs of this game, but ultimately I chose not to. You'll see in a moment. And yeah, I decided to build, like, a little mini-mountain there, even though it's not really that appealing looking. Let me see... Yeah, yet... Now, one little trick, you notice that with grassy terrain it kind of grows and such, and... One of the jobs of the handyman is to, um... Is to mow the lawn. That does help make it seem a bit more presentable, but it kind of steers them away from their other jobs. Namely, sweeping the paths, uh, emptying the trash cans, and watering the gardens. That's very important, and I don't think you really get penalized for, you know, having tall grass in your park, so... If it if that really does bother you, you can just use the, um, the landscaping tool and just simply do a simple click on, on the on grassy areas where, it, where it's overgrown quite, kind of bit, and it'll just turn flat again. So, it's a little time-consuming and a bit tedious, but if you really don't like that, um, the, um... Yeah, the long grass there. <laughs> I lost my words there. I'm getting a little dry from this. And, yeah, that's something you can do. At this point, once again, I'm just waiting for things to happen. And I figured at this point, yeah, we do have a, a, a wooden crazy rodent coaster already pre-built. But that that one was using the second, um, the second set of carts they have, the mine carts. So for this one, I figured I'd build a new one, but this time use the um, the actual rodent cars. You know, kind of make them look like rats, or mice, whichever they are, the mice cars. Now this first iteration, I wasn't too proud of, so I decided to try it again. Try a new one, and honestly, I'm pretty pleased with how this one ended up. Uh, yeah, there was a bit of pausing here, I was... I Usually when I try to record this game, I have like a video, a long video or series of videos playing on my phone. Um, stuff like the Runaway Guys, or just long plays of games without commentary and the whatnot. Or even just speedruns, just commentaryless speedruns, just something to listen to in the background. So that way I'm not, like, overly bored with, you know, just the game, just Roller Coaster Tycoon sounds. And, yeah, already the, this coaster was is pretty much done. It, it came out pretty nice. I probably could have done better in some aspects, but I think it worked out well. I'm not too experienced with this type of coaster because, you know, you can't, there are no brakes on that one, which, you know, is understandable. So, at this point, I'm just doing a bit more decorations and whatnot because I think I've built pretty much all that I need to build. Oh, no, wait, I stand corrected. I also built an, an inverted swinging ship. Now, um, you've seen the regular swinging ship before where it just swerves back, back and forth, but as you can see there, the inverted swinging ship goes goes all around, so guests inside the ship go upside down for a little bit. Now that that kind of makes it a bit more intense than the regular swinging ship, but I think it's entertaining enough to say the least. And I don't think there was much else I was doing. I'm just making sure that. Um, oh yeah, and at that at that spot, just that part of the path, I wanted to make sure it actually looked safe, so I decided to use a different set of railings for it. But other than that, at this point, all I'm doing is just adding a bit more decorations, um, just kind of cleaning up the place, making sure it looks presentable enough. And other than that, that is pretty much it. That's all I've done for this park. Uh, Diamond Heights, it was definitely a long one to say the least, and my cat would not stop leaving me, would not stop yapping at me the whole time. Well, I did get a little bit distracted in a few spots, but all in all, I'm pleased with how this park came out. So, with that in mind, um, out of all the rides built in this park, be it the pre-built ones or the ones I built, which one would you be most interested in to ride? Or, you know, just to go on? So, just leave it, just leave that suggestion in the comments below, and 
If you have any other suggestions I can do for this project, just be sure to shoot them at me, because, well, to be honest, I live for constructive criticism, and, you know, I want to improve and all that, so if there's anything you can think of to um, help me improve with these videos, then by all means, shoot them. just shoot them in the comments if you choose. And that's pretty much about it. So, with that event, next time on Roller Coaster Tycoon for the PC, we shall move on to the fifth scenario, which is going to be a little bit longer. I think it goes on to year four, I believe. Um, I think that's Evergreen Gardens, I believe. I think that's the name. Eh, we'll know in the next episode whenever that comes around. And I do mean whenever it comes around. Uh, something I should have mentioned right off the bat before I end this. Um, this Let's Play in particular, I'm going to rename it as a side LP instead of number 14. Because really this is only going to be updated when I feel like updating it. I mean, it, it does take a lot of time and a little bit of energy to, you know, to, you know, record this game just for so many hours on end. I mean, it's not like Sonic Adventure where I can just do like a couple of videos at a time when it's like, like no more than an, a little over an hour. But like I said, this was four hours long, so you can imagine I was a little bit exhausted at this point. So anyway, until next time, everybody, I'm gone.